Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, my name is Evgeny, and I will talk about the Greek and Cypriot um, hubs. I'm sorry. So let's start with the actions uh, happened uh, in Greece and Cyprus in 2014. We actually had two stakeholder meetings uh, in Greece, one in Athens and one in Thessaloniki, which is uh, the second biggest city of Greece in the northern part. Um, actually, it was, we thought that it was very important to have one in Thessaloniki because um, there is a very different perspective in um, Athens and all the other cities of Greece. Uh, everything is too centralized, everything happens in Athens, so we wanted to have some input from, from the Saloniki, uh, where there are some very um, interesting um, initiatives. And the third one took place in Cyprus, in, uh, in Nicosia, um, where there is an, uh, an interesting trend uh, towards uh, innovation. We managed to have a representative from all stakeholders uh, categories, which, trust me, it was a challenge, mostly because uh, NGOs are not so popular in Greece, and uh, let's say that they're not too representative uh, of the society. And um, at the same time, we had industry people who did not see, it was difficult for them to understand the concept because behind RRI and they couldn't see the added value of uh, participating into that. So in the first picture, uh, you can see the first part of the workshop in Athens. Uh, you can see also Aliki there, who by the way sends her regards from Athens. Um, the first part uh, was in a hotel, and the second part it was in a, uh, it took place in a concept bookstore in the center of Athens. The, the picture below is uh, from Thessaloniki. It took place in a science museum, and the big on the right is in Cyprus from the University of Cyprus. So, what did we learn? Uh, firstly, um, it was difficult for us. There's Let's start from the fact that in Greece there's no RRI community, so let's say it was even for us difficult to, to recognize who could participate uh, and who could have important input. Uh, then um, it was difficult to contact them and to persuade them to come, and we even have some last minute cancellations, but still we thankfully had an adequate number of participants. But once they met us, they wanted more. And now we are at a point that those people are very motivated and they want to learn more about RRI and they kind of start fading. So it is very important to have something to offer to them very soon. Okay, uh, what was also very impressive was how well they started to, they, they were networking uh, so different target groups and um, we felt that there was a very nice feeling all around and that they could share um, the same enthusiasm for, uh, for the concept presented. And last, what we consider to be very um, interesting is that, as you all know, Greece and Cyprus, they face severe economic crisis, who, which actually affect any sector, uh, economy, education, research, everything. Um, uh, universities, especially in Greece, they used to be very introvert and very conservative. Um, and they now we see that they start to introduce themselves to the industry just because they have no other choice. And this is at the same time an opportunity. So it is a good timing, we feel. And the, let's say if we can find something positive about the economic situation right now is that in both these countries we see that people from the universities, people from research and the academia, they find an opportunity um, into uh, getting introduced to the society. So about the uh, best practices, uh, these are some things that uh, we believe are important, but we don't feel that we have a super duper best uh, practice because it's a very new thing in Greece and a lot, of, a lot of such things start now. So we hope that we will have much better um, input later. But we had from very local to very big European, I'm sorry, collaborations. As I said, many are starting right, right now. And um, 
just because it was difficult for us to introduce the, um, well, to the concept sometimes, we feel that some of them were very specific. The first one is Women and Girls Go Digital Initiative. Uh, it is a public-private uh, actual initiative, and um, it actually encourages women to um, hunt, uh, to seek for uh, digital careers. Um, it has actually won already a prize in Mexico for innovation, but um, there is a problem with that one because as you may have heard on the news, there has been a change in the uh, political scenery in Greece. So we have a new government and uh, the General Secretariat of uh, Gender Issues in Greece was responsible for that. The person, Glikiria, uh, a very active woman, has been uh, removed. So. For the time, we don't know who's running it, and hopefully it will continue, but for the time, we don't know what the continuation will be. And the second one that we chose, um, it was presented by an NGO in Thessaloniki, and uh, actually the, the idea is to use um, uh, oil from households in order to heat uh, school units. Um, we found it very interesting and uh, the important part is that there is a university research behind that so it has all the steps that we would consider as uh, important. So our next steps, uh, we would like to create a much bigger pool of contacts in Greece and in Cyprus regarding RRI. Of course, we promise we will follow, follow our dissemination advocacy plan activities. And we would like to use the next meetings to get more people on board as long as we have more concrete stuff to present to them. Thank you.